what seemed like any other Tuesday night for Arnold and Emily Campbell turned into a nightmare in the blink of an eye. Emily was playing outside with her neighbors and her father called out for her to come inside for dinner. I realized it's been eight or ten minutes and she's still not here and I said, well, wait a minute, she should already be here. So I come outside and I yelled and I couldn't hear her, couldn't see her. So I jumped in the car. I said, well, she's got distracted. We saw him make a few laps around the trailer park and then we all were like, okay, let's go help him find Emily. And we saw a deputy sheriff pull in. We saw him pull up to Arnold's house, so we all ride over to go speak with the deputy. Um, he didn't speak with any of us. They made Arnold father follow him to the police station because he had Emily in the back of the cruiser, and they arrested Arnold. They charged him with child neglect and took Emily away from him and gave her grandmother custody. And I tried, tried my best to get him to understand that she's just a little girl and she just got away if you, just for two minutes. Emily had biked to the convenience store just down the block before going home that night. This here is the end of the road where little Emily would ride her bike every day with her dad to get a slushy at the little general store right around the corner. Except this Tuesday, she went alone. A Raleigh County deputy sheriff happened to be at the store and saw her alone. Then he took her with him back to her house. Could you imagine what that little baby was feeling in the back of that cop car? Could you imagine what she's feeling now, wondering if she'll ever see daddy again? It's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And they're charging this man and running his name through the dirt. He didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't do nothing no different than any other parent out there would have done. Your child goes next door to play and then decides they're going to go get a drink. The gas station's right there. Surveillance cameras from the trailer park show it all unfold, which happened only in the matter of 19 minutes. And the footage is being used in the investigation. It could happen to anybody. I've reviewed everything I did. And I can't think of nothing I could have done better. You know what I mean? I don't know what else I could have done. I was moving as fast as I could move, looking as hard as I know how to look. The deputy sheriff who made the arrest would not return our calls to comment. In Beckley, I'm Rebecca Fernandez reporting for Newswatch.